So, guys, we're here in North London at, at Selwig, but as a kind of on, on the side of Selwig, but we started yesterday. Uh, I've got my man here. Do you want to tell the viewers uh, who you are and what you're all about? Brilliant. So, I'm Johnny. I'm one of the Pegasus Warlords. Um, and what we're doing here is we're running the Bolt Action English Open Tournament, um, as partly because you get to come to the Selwig show mm -hmm. as part of that, but also it is a two day tournament. So, we're here yesterday yeah. as well. And it's, there's, there's tables as far as that. We'll get you some B-roll footage so you can see what's going on. But you can probably see a bit of it be behind us. Uh, some beautiful boards you've got sat behind. I mean, there's a, a lovely Stalingrad board here with two not Russian armies fighting on it, as Indeed. you'll find at any tournament. So this particular event, what's special about it? So this one is what part of the Opens, like the National yeah. Open one. So we have this, the Welsh is this what, Open. what used been... to be called the Nationals? No, so the Nationals tends to be more your competitive one where it's more about playing the game for the competitive side. Mm -hmm. The opens tend to be more for the thematic. And so right. we're very much aiming to have, and so essentially it's open where we want more of the, sort of the weird and wacky, the interesting armies. Um, and you find that a lot of the guys who come here aren't playing to win. We are keeping score, but actually a lot of the guys come to won five games and they'll see five different interesting armies when they do it. Um, yeah. As I said, this is the first year we've run the English Open. Mm -hmm. It's off the back of uh, Mark Vance over in Wales. We've been running the Welsh Open for years now. Right. And, that's, and so that was very much why we thought it'd be brilliant to have an English Open. Right, mm -hmm. I see. And, and your War Games Club then, Pegasus Warlords, mm -hmm. where are you yeah. from? So we're in Aldershot. Right. So Pegasus Warlords, we only started about this year and we're kind of like a collective of numerous clubs. So we've right. got the guys from the south, basically around the south coast in London way, um, and also Reading. And what in Aldershot's kind of like the hub where so we've got members who are based in Aldershot, who are like the core of the club. And then we've got members um, who come from like uh, Southampton and drive up for the day. And what we do is we do a monthly games day right. where we, we get everyone sort of merges in the middle right. and we have sort of a bit of a blowout once a month. So all of these beautiful balls, mm -hmm. are, they, are they all from different members and different contributors from the club? Exactly, yeah. So that's kind of the point of why we started the Pegasus Warlord. So we could do these events, mm -hmm. scale up, without yeah. putting too much burden on one club. So the idea is that um, a few individuals from each club or the club themselves can bring a few boards. And when you put them all together, you can have a massive tournament. Yeah. And also like really good quality, really good variety. And yeah, so, so yeah, so everyone's showcasing their best. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So for anyone thinking about taking part mm -hmm. maybe next year, you yeah. expecting to be at Selwig again? You will definitely be doing something at Selwig. We might change venue for the English Open. Uh, we're, because we might change the time of year. Because right. one of the things we found this year is the Welsh Open is in September. And so for the, the guys who so love they were going... Like prep for that, they've been to exactly. that, kind of, their wives have let them out for one weekend. Yeah, plus with it being really, like we allow all the like weird theatre selectors and stuff. And so if you've done that for the Welsh Open and you've spent six months building that, yeah. you don't then want to race it within a month, get a new one ready. Yeah. And so you've, and so what we're thinking about doing next year is just moving it sort of at least three months away from the Welsh Open, just to give people time to sort of recharge the creative juices. Yeah, yeah, at the, the other end of the summer or whatever, something like that. Exactly, yeah, probably yeah. early in the year. So um, if, you, if people taking part across these two days, how many games are they playing then? Five games. Five so games. three games on the Saturday mm -hmm. and then just two games on the Sunday with a yeah. longer break for lunch. So right. yesterday they had half an hour for lunch, basically. Today they've got at least an hour and a half to go around, see all the stuff downstairs and then get back up. And, it, and in short form, a big, mm. for people interested in kind of more, mm. um, tournament mm. style gaming, I see there's a couple of guys there working on the pairings for the next <laughs> yeah, match. Exactly. You know, it's a, it's kind of a big part of it. If I'm, yeah. you know, I'm not going to spend five days mm. getting, two days and five games getting hammered, am I? If I'm rubbish, yeah. what's, what happens? Yeah, exactly. So we do, even though we're not like a competitive tournament, you're paired on your scoring. And so the players, so what happens is your first game, you might come up against a mismatch where someone's brought something that's like considered quite strong and you've brought something that you deliberately is very like fluffy and thematic yeah. and you might have a bit of a mismatch and lose that game. But you'll find that people by the second, third game, they're, they're sort of in a position where they're having really good even matches. Um, but e equally though, even if you are a bit mismatched on maybe it's like how experienced you are as a player or how strong your platoon's supposed to be, because it's a bit weird and wacky because we're allowing all the theatre selectors, you can get mismatches because of that, where someone right. brings something that My catches you off My list isn't guard. very good, yeah. but, it, but your list isn't ready for it, even yeah, exactly. your list is strong. Or I just don't know how to play against you. So we've got um, the one with the Western Desert with all the Kubel wagons. So you can take four Kubel wagons in one slot, I think. And so if you're not used to like having a little armoured cars down your... Oh, you don't really know yeah, what to yeah. do. Yeah, clown cars. Yeah, exactly. Kubel wagons with machine guns in that yeah. armoured car slot. 
Amazing. Yeah, they're quite difficult to knock out if you had so many, I would imagine. Yeah, and imagine yeah. if you've played the list a lot, you know exactly how to use them, when, mm. to, when to push with them, when to hold back, because they are quite squashy if you put them too forward. And it's a German but, machine gun, so it's, it, you know, if you get a nice. good shot on somebody, it's still all right. Right, okay. And, mm. and how is it panning out? Are there, are there, are there clear mm. runners and riders emerging? Are you... Yeah, you guess sort of the usual faces. You get the usual faces doing quite well, um, but the, there's always surprises. And again, with this format, what's quite nice is we've done alongside sort of broadening the armies, we've broadened the missions as well and put in some custom missions. And I think that also helps to level the Pegans because you sometimes come to the table and you've never played the mission before. Right. And if both of you are in that position... Whereas I know what my yeah. army does when I do double development, I've practiced that. Yeah. You know, if it's a mission yeah, out exactly. of the book, I know how I'm going to do this. And so uh, there's a couple of people who I've seen who... I thought would do well based on like what army they had, what I'd seen in other tournaments. And then they've maybe lost a mission. And I, I thought, I wonder if that's because they didn't really know how to use that specific army for that mission. To play that mission. Yeah, yeah they're not played it so many times. All right, it, it, looks, it looks great. Thanks for your time, mate. Thank you very much. Right, you take care. Cheers.